Hello everyone, uh, let's start at our workshop today. I'll put some signs into the comments so I can see that you can hear me and see my screen. I won't start until I see some of them. We have a little delay, but it's okay. I'll wait a little bit. My name is Irena Palekova and today we are going to do this render, this cozy interior. We'll work from start to the end. Uh, we'll do some modeling, light um, lighting, and of course materials. So I'm waiting for your signs and we'll get it started. Also, we have some rules. Somebody knows it, some not. Uh, I'll repeat it just in case. So uh, all materials uh, of this workshop you can find in the description to do this video. Um, don't repeat after me. Uh, this video will be recorded so you will be uh, able to repeat after. And also, what else, what else, what else? Uh -huh, questions. Um, please uh, keep all your questions until the end of the workshop and I will answer to all of them. Hi, hi, hello. Okay. Oh, good. And we can start it. So let's open our 3D Max and we'll start with the plan. So file, import and open the file of the plan to this interior. Plan, open. Let's go. I'll go to the top view as usual and turn off the grid and we'll start with box. We need snap 3 to create it and we'll start with first one. Uh, also, don't forget to share this link to this video to your friends, to your social media, so everyone can see that. We will be awesome. Okay, let's start with one. Uh, the height is two, three hundred. No, three thousand two hundred. I'll turn off these buckets. I'll show the edges of the box and we need to convert it to editable poly. I'll do it with shortcut, but you can do it by right click, convert to editable poly. I need polygons and let's go. I'll use shift held down to create extrude and we'll do all these walls. Yes, everything in description as I said, guys. Don't worry, you can do it as well. You can find the plans, some models, some textures where you can find them. Everything in... Ew, it's frozen. Come on. Oh, sh... What happened? Duck. Looks like my computer look acting really weird. One sec. I don't know what happened. Okay, it's all frozen. Ah. DX. Okay, I'll open just new 3ds Max. I don't know <laughs> what just happened. I didn't do anything special. Just some bugs of 3ds Max. Well, happens. Okay, <laughs> I'll repeat it one more time. Crash, yes. Crash indeed. Okay, I'll open one more time the plan. And we'll do it again. I don't know, it's weird. Really, really weird. Okay, one more time. Turn off the grid. Turn on snap. Let's go with box. One more time. The 3200. And F4. For the edges, convert. 
do I did evolve poly and we need polygon again. Let's start it again. Shift held down and extrude some polygons. Well, it's at least uh, our walls now are green, not pink. Don't forget to do to all the corners, all the lines we need on the walls. I'll set the two of these polygons and extrude them. What the hell? It happened again? It do want to do in exactly the same point. I don't understand what just happened. Ah, that's super weird. Okay, I will do in another uh, with another tools because it's really weird what just happening. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happening. I'm so sorry. Seriously, it's really really weird. Okay, I will do a spline this time because uh, something happened with this extrude. It works all fine today in every scene that I made. Well, okay, another uh, another way to do it. I'll need to snap uh, 2.5 and line. We'll do with line, it's fine. Um, I'll create the out line. Close it, I'll turn off this um, point and create another one. Oh, I forget to put some dots. Okay, it's fine. I'll do it a little later. Yeah. Okay, I'll just move this point to here. I need to weld them because I didn't finish it. Okay. And check uh, all dots, all points that I need. Okay, looks fine. Let's do is extrude and the same height. Might be the plan of AutoCAD. Yes, AutoCAD, but it always worked fine. I don't know, it's just today it doesn't want to work. Uh, okay, there was... Um, Okay, not almost. I forget this wall. I'll just add two refines for more points and just move them here. And just move them with snap. All right. Now it's all good. Finally, okay, let's try with editable poly. I'll convert it and we need to add some more edges. I'll select this two edge ring connect and we need to um, up them to 27, 25 and the same with inner line. 27, 25, all right. Now we need to do for the windows. I'll just select these two um, polygons and just um, like extrude, hold shift and move. But, oh, okay. Uh, it's work only in 22 max. Uh, if not, just select four uh, polygons inside and outside and do bridge. And I don't need this one. All right. And now I need to do a little extrude um, deeper. Uh, according to the plan. So I'll just select it and with shift well, okay, I need snap three now. The shift, I'll just snap into here. So we'll get this kind of wall. All right. Oh, uh, fine, finally. <laughs> it just took us to 11 minutes to create it. Uh, let's create some floor. I'll take a rectangle and do this. Um, we need to modify a floor generator and the size is 200, no, 2000 
500 to 170, extrude 19 and bell 1. One, and we need to um, put it under the walls. So just plus these two numbers and it will be minus 20. And it will be exactly under uh, the walls. Now I'll create the um, uh, under the parquet thing. So I'll just uh, select box. We'll pick 2.5 and snap and create it. Height minus 100. And also we need to lower it into minus 20. So it will be under parquet. Difference between 2.5 and 3. Ask me this question in the end of the master class and I'll tell you the difference. Uh, okay, I'll change the color. I want it all gray. All right. What next? I'll merge our furniture. Just select it from the file. You will have some of these objects, not all of them. But at least something you can't use in your scene. I'll apply to all duplicates because I have something with this name and outer name. Okay. Um, one more thing, we need to create the baseboard. Uh, so I'll just select this walls, uh, go to isolate and create new line for it. All points, don't forget to put and close it. And isolation, we need modifier uh, called sweep and use custom section pick this little line is our profile for it shape of our baseboard just select it now we it's frozen again no Ooh. Ooh. Ah. okay all good all good i was scared for a moment i don't know uh so we need to um it's under our walls, it's lower than zero coordinate. We need to select a line in here. Also, it's wrong side, so we need to mirror it. Just select one of this one. Yeah, this one is correct. And we don't need smooth pass. So the gradient is disappear. Okay, I'll change the color as well. And we can put all this stuff inside. Well, we don't need this shape. I'll just unselect it with um, Alt and move it into here. Fine, fine, I think. Software isn't present to you. <laughs> yeah, very possible. It's not friendly to us sometimes. But in general, it's a really good software. But nobody's perfect, right? So 3ds Max. Okay. We need to do one more thing for the floor. So I'll just select the floor. I'll select this convector and isolate them. Because uh, it's um, not. Uh, we need to do the, some holes for it. OK, I'll select the floor. I'll go down to the rectangle and we'll add uh, edit spline. First, now I need to create the rectangle oh i forget one more thing i need the plan actually because i need to uh, make a copy of this convector it can be instance fine and now i can do this okay let's uh, go to rectangle and create inside of the convector I'll just convert it into editable spline and a little edit so it will be perfect shape for it. 
just inside of the frames. It will be fine. Just select vertex and move it. Uh, then I'll go to spline, select it and make a copy with shift. And move it into another one. Okay, all good. Yep. <clears throat> now I need to uh, add the, um, attach the main floor um, spline. So I'll just select floor, go to editable spline, um, um, attach multi and select with the, um, from the list rectangle. Now it's, no, 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 one more thing. I forget, totally forget. Uh, because we move a little down uh, our floor, so we need uh, our rectangle spline to be the same, um, same minus 20. So I'll select the um, rectangle. Yeah, and minus 20 in here. All right. Now I can attach it. So uh, floor, edit spline, attach multi and rectangle. Here we go. And floor. And it's all good. No more um, parquet in this area. Okay. And desolation. And we need ceiling. So I'll just select the bottom uh, box and make a copy. Mm, okay. It can be instance. We won't modify it much. And we need snap three. So we can snap in the perspective view. And just move it here all right now right click object properties display as box okay let's go to create camera i'll select uh, corona camera and turn off snap we don't need it and create straight camera now we need to add some um, size of the frame so i'll go to uh, render stuff Select custom, we need um, uh, 26, 23 and height uh, 3500. Yeah, click on lock, uh, click on lock, uh, lock in here as well. So uh, this viewport, if you select uh, this viewport will be um, locked for um, uh, render. So click here, click here, all fine. Uh, go to camera view and let's do it. We need to show this frame. So shift uh, F and now we can do this stuff. I'll go to settings of the camera, select camera, uh, focal in millimeters. I'll make it a little um, more in here and let's try. If you held shift, it will go straight lines when you move it. I think we need a little more in here. And a little closer and a little high ear camera, just a little bit and closer. Looks good, I think. Let me check. Yeah, almost the same. Yep. Mm, maybe a little higher. Camera, a little, little higher. All right. I don't like something happened with this picture. Let me convert it into editable. See the gradients looks weird. I'll just add smooth and after smooth. Yeah, looks better. And convert it again to editable poly so we don't have smooth groups in it. All right, let's go to, to lighting. Um, we need to create the base material first. Um, I'll select Corona, Corona MTL. And always 
legs the same we start with almost the same uh, so the color is 90 uh, reflection one glossiness uh, 0 0.6 and middle uh, color of reflect will be fine um, but we have uh, books with material so I'll use uh, override material so we these books will be also gray and in the end we'll just add it into uh, into ex exclude them so we'll see the real material so click on material override uh, go to material editor and just drag into here but as instance it's very important all right now we can add some rgi map mm, go to single map uh, we need current a bitmap and select it from the folder i'm going to use yeah this circle it's a um, little cloudy with nice blue and um and natural colors i'm going to select this one open you can find the link in the description and we can start the interactive render click on here okay i'll turn off the um, the noise of interactive render in here in performance and we can increase exposure and we'll see what we have uh, i have already corona 8 uh, it's a little it has a little different um, uh, interface uh, they change uh, tone mapping so if you need some more extra parameters just click on plus and you will find them um, for now I need just exposure I'll just increase it a little bit I don't need much right I think it's enough um, I'll rotate a little bit uh, HDRI map I don't need this straight sun in this area so I'll just uh, go to material editor open um, render setup find our map and drag it into here as instance it's important and select it so they changed it uh, currently bitmap as well a little bit so uh, in previous version we had rotation somewhere in this area don't touch this parameter uh, it will rotate wrong way like vertical we don't need it we need to rotate it horizontal so in here this parameter we need so 30 mm, 50 oh 50 not too much 80 so it's a little more lighter in this area actually it's good boy i wanted 100 something wrong with my arms today okay mm, i think it's enough uh let's add some extra light so we'll have more shadows in this wall more deep shadows so I'll go to um, left view and we need light corona corona light uh, shape rectangle and create a little one so it won't give us too much light but some that will use for our scene. I'll move it into here. I uh, turn on uh, angle snap and rotate it to our um, room. Uh, go to modify and we need targeted. So we have this little rectangle so I can move it to exactly uh, area that I need to. Uh, I need this wall so I'll move it in here and let's see what we have now Ooh, too light um, okay I'll put it down because too much uh, light in this area Ooh, uh. okay we need to decrease intensity it's too much right so intensity 10 five um i want this shadow a little higher so i'll just um, lower uh, this 
light. So the shadow is going up when I'm lower the light. But it's not enough. It's not enough. Let's move in here. So this shadow will move closer to the curtains. Yeah, oh, nice. The strong, straight shadows. Enough? I think so. Uh, also, what we can do, I can mm, add some directional, so it will be more uh, directly targeted uh, light. So now it's uh, work like this. If I'll change this parameter or directional, it will be like this. So super uh, direct light. Well, we, we don't need like super direct, but a little more direct would be nice. See, it's more light. Oh, that's too much. And you can see the shadows become much more intensive. Actually, that's what we need, but intensity is still too high. I'll lower a little bit. And what else we can we can do? We have um, a little too much exposure in this area. Um, this object, object will be um, not dark. It will be light, so we need to decrease it. I'm going to add... What I'm going to add? Filmic mapping. I need to open it and up. Highlight compress a little bit. Yeah, much better. Uh, also, they have rich shadows. Uh, it was before um, filmic shadow. So we'll just add it as well. It will be more contrasted picture. But it's not enough. We can increase more contrast. Because uh, our picture is a uh, little light, mm, we need a lot of contrast in here because uh, when all objects will be light, it's not too deep shadow, looks a little weird. So I'll increase it. Not too much. Yeah, thanks. This one is fine. All right. All right. So, if you we look at this picture, it's kind of um, a lot of one color. So we can just add this color to instead of gray, and we'll start with materials. I think it's a good plan, right? Yep. I want to make it bigger. Okay, I'll just make a. Mm, no, actually, I don't need a copy. I'll just change this material, just add some saturation. A little yellow. Well, less saturation. Not that much we need, but more of yellow. fine. A little more. Saludas, who joined just. Guys, don't forget put some likes into this video. I see that some of you already did it, but you can do it more. Don't be shy, seriously. And also, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, it's perfect time to do that. Oh, where is my color? Go. Okay, good. I think so, right? Okay, I'll keep it. Yeah. Uh, okay, first, what we're we going to do? Maybe a little reddish. First, what are we going to do? Uh, I think we should start with this area. Uh, also, we can create um, the black material, so our dark material <laughs> won't be uh, so light anymore. I'll make a copy of this material and select all black object in our scene. No, not this one. I need this, 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 and a little part of the lamp. 
okay i'll assign material but don't forget to add to exclude because we use override material if you want uh, add them to exclude uh, they won't show up so i added to exclude and and then 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 that i'll change the color to the black so zero saturation and just make it black good good uh, i'll add some color in here so it won't be that light uh, we have a little brownish stuff so i'll make a copy of it and add to this part don't forget to exclude as well and i'll add some color so we need more saturation a little darker a little of red more dark yeah i think it's good and now we can start with material i think we should start with carpet so let's do this um i'll make a copy select it in viewport assign material and exclude it so we need the color we need um, some displacement we need some normal map we can start with um displacement i think i hope it will be seen in this little color um one thing so uh, i use this texture um, for the carpet for, for the carpet but it's only um texture for diffuse color i don't have any displacement i don't have any normal map um so i create them i use um resource it's called normal well you can just normal map online and you will find this uh c petri github so it will create a real good stuff you can create a normal map uh, you can create displacement displacement is not always good but for this texture it worked fine uh, so just drag the picture in here and you will create the displacement normal don't load it uh, you can use some parameters to make it stronger change level level uh, bluer so all you need you can do it by yourself and we'll create two maps displacement normal and if you need something else you can add, mm, create them as well so um well so many maxes i here i can i have here i'll just close them so they won't distract us okay i'll close in here yeah and task all right uh let's go i'll select this map for displacement yeah this one is just gray with a um, little more gray darker gray and we're going to use this um select this one we need to um, modify current displacement one you can all find in in the list modify list and let's go where it's my material editor i'll just drag map here as instance and let's see what we have nothing for now um okay i'll just increase this parameter so I'll we'll see some results oh yeah now i can see something but it's too uh, big we need to small it a little smaller let's change tiling for two maybe a bit more maybe 2.2 think will be enough yeah good i'll come closer so you can see the details it's pan zoom you can always use it by click plus pan zoom mode i have in shortcuts actually even this it works really fine uh maybe a little change the mean level I don't know minus five. Oh, probably it's too much. Okay, max a little lower. 
sometimes um, interactor render doesn't um, work too good um, for displacement. So if you need the real result, just click on the normal um, render so you can see the real result because interactor is sometimes sometimes doesn't show the real one okay i think it's good we can add some normal map that was created oh actually i will uh, select this map copy it because we changed the tiling and i'll just select from the picture from the folder so i don't need to add it again it will have the same tiling it's much uh better and we need corona normal plug into it and add gamma to input let's go to bump let me see what it gives to us oh well it's too much i think right uh, let's decrease strength I'll restart interactive because I don't see the real picture of it. Excellent Spanish pronunciation. <laughs> All right. Now I just need to learn Spanish. Okay. Let me check this area. Oh, yeah, actually it's pretty fine and a little lower yeah i think it's good you can see the little small details and not too straight line sideline okay i'm good let's add some color i'll just open this material and select the map a little bit change the color of this um, map it's a little more um, warm and reddish the original one is a little more yellow i changed it in uh, photoshop and i'll add curl map uh, color map and let's add to diffuse color uh, but i forget we changed the tiling so I'll add it in here again, 2.2, 2.2. IPR to the right, uh, do you mean in this corner, put the video or what? Please um, specify what you want. Okay, let's look how it looks like okay yeah I should move it one sec I'll do it cheeks move into here I think it will be better red and where is it Whoop. okay uh, so let's move this color i'll make it darker advanced just decrease lower the gamma it's already good but as i like i will add some dirty stuff i need more dirty not just that clean carpet so i'll use composite map layer one and a new layer create the copy of color correction and plug into layer two okay we'll see what will change i need the map black and white probably this one might work good Please, guys, keep all your questions until the end of the masterclass. I will answer them all, I promise. Uh, let's show this map into the viewport. Uh, it might be fine. Okay, let's mm, let me see what we have to 
do probably this one i'll make darker yeah but darker i can see these parts okay let me make this render bigger good but i'll uh, make this one a little lighter a little not that much okay this one is too dark for now but also i don't like this um spots i want uh, some black stuff in this area so uh what do we need so the white areas of this map is the second layer right so i'll just rotate yeah we have black uh, area we need white in here so i'll select it and rotate into well let's start with 90 degrees mm, that might be good but not enough of black one so we don't see these parts at all okay let me minus 90 yeah and now we have in this area perfect okay mm -hmm. so let me make this region a little bigger um okay let me see now it have to be darker right and less color okay less color i can add by just color correction in here just plug it into composite a little saturation lower okay and change the difference of the color so i'll make this a little darker and this one maybe a little dark as well okay a little more dark in here i want to see them don't you want this well as well yeah okay all good let me close all this stuff maybe a little less saturation we need less saturation for sure it's too colorful okay uh let's move on um parquet parquet let's do some floor uh, I'll make a copy of the material. Uh, we'll need multi-texture. It works with uh, floor generator. And we need to add to it some planks, wood planks. I'll select them all. If you see our previous master classes, you already see this kind of stuff, how we create some different per cam. Um, if you haven't, you can subscribe to our channel and see them all. All right, uh, let's um, assign this material to the floor. I'll select them, assign, and don't forget to exclude it because you don't see it in the render. Good. Okay, let's work with color. What do we need? Uh, less saturation, little lighter. Okay let's add color correction no less saturation less or maybe even darker right so advanced a little darker 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 maybe more wait too much um need more saturation right yeah i think it's good maybe a little little darker okay um maybe move you a little bit to the yellow but not too much let me add one do you see the difference right okay uh let's work with reflection i'll add another color correction uh plug into uh, multi texture plug into color correction desaturate it fully and plug into reflect color also we need map output for the curves i'll open this window and i'll mm, turn off the color 
diffuse so we actually can see the reflection and go closer okay now we can see what is going on in this reflection so we need to make it lighter so we'll see these uh, wooden streaks i'll add point to the curve a busy smooth and move it to the light side i'll change a little on here a little on here oh you can see a little white thinny in this area works good um probably i'll decrease um influence of this map let me do some 90 so it will be more softer and make a copy of this output and plug into reflect glossiness let me see the curves probably a little more lighter yeah that's good but it's too much okay i'll move it in a little in here yeah now it looks great um let me decrease influence as well a little bit so it won't be that strong yeah good let return the color uh, the texture of the wood is too strong i should we i think we should a little um mix it with color so what we're going to do i'll go to material uh select the color and just select um, the color of the color correction so it will be the same just mix it with color so this texture won't be that intensive let me decrease it now maybe more yep yeah. and now it's much more softer great let's look at whole picture perfecto okay let's go to the next what are we going to do next oh i think we should do this convector because it's too whitish uh let me let me let me let me let me i'll make a copy of this black material select it assign material exclude it Actually, even like this, it looks good, but I want a little more reflection on these frames and maybe a little of this um, black. Probably it have to be a different materials. Okay, I'll make a copy of it. I'll work uh, first on this black and after it, I'll work with this frame. So the first one will be for um, inner stuff. Mm, I'll just increase Fresnel, so it will be a little more metallic. Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe I will, but I'll make more uh, darker color of reflection. And maybe a little more glossiness. Yeah, good. And now I will work with this frame, uh, but I need to select it. It's a group. I'll just need to open it, group open, and select the frame. Is it frame? Looks like, yeah, good. And assign new material. This one will make a real um, metallic. So I'll just de increase uh, Fresnel and a little more glossiness and the color of reflection lighter so it will be much more lighter but not too much i can increase glossiness a little more yeah this area looks great and let's go i think we should do this curtains because it's too dark it's much more lighter not that um strong deep and in the shadow so let's do it. I'll, I'll make a copy of the material. Select it. Whoops. 
assign and go to exclude. Um, I think we need to create something simple. So I'll just work a little of uh, translucency and opacity and color. So we need to make it lighter. Maybe a little more reddish. I think it's fine. Let's add some translucency. Ooh, no, we don't need much. It's not too um, uh, transparent, so just a little bit. And also we need to add map for translucency. I'll, we will use a favorite one for the curtains. I'll select it and plug into a translucency fractal. So it will be instead of this uh, parameter, now it's all of this map, but we'll mix it because it's too much of a uh, map. We don't need that much. And also this texture is too big. We need to make it smaller, maybe more. Let me see, still too big for, okay. Okay, four is looks fine. Now we have to decrease influence of this map because it's too, 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 too strong, right? Let me see. Yeah, okay. So just change this parameter. Yeah, too much. We need just a little bit of texture. We don't need to be a very, very seam. Only lower, less of it. See, you can see it just slightly, just a little bit. But probably we should a little more of translucency. Okay, let me check on the whole picture. Ew, where is my material editor? Yeah, perfect. Um, all right, this wall is, looks now too dark. We need to uh, make it lighter. So I'll make a copy of this material, main material, I mean. I uh, select the wall and assign new material excluded in render setup and make it lighter. Boy, now it's too much now. Huh? <laughs> it's fine. No, it's too much. Okay, let's decrease it a little bit. Yeah, I think it's good now. Is it? Well, maybe a little darker. Okay, let's keep it. And what we're going to do next? I think armchair will be interesting to see the material. I don't want to show you the material like too easy. So um, we'll probably work with uh, armchair, pillow, um, and this face um, for the lamp, I probably will add just color. So material not too complicated, just wood and um, lamp with the color. So I will show you just interesting material. I hope you're fine with that. You can say your opinion into the comments. Uh, so let's go with um, armchair. I'll create new material um, exclu excluded. I didn't select it yet. <laughs> now I need to select it. Okay, uh, assign material. Okay, it's assigned, I hope. Uh, so what we need? We need displacement, normal. We need color. And probably that's it, we'll see. Mm, I'll add some fall off for fabric materials is very common to use fall off map gives oh wow wow I select the wrong one okay uh, 
No, it's not full wall. I just need to select the armature. I didn't select. Now it have to be right. Let me see. One more time. Fall off. Diffuse color. What the heck? <laughs> okay, I'll just make a cover. Probably this material in in the walls. But I thought it's some another. Okay, maybe I confused something. Yeah, now it works fine. Finally. Okay, fall off. Uh, this color is not velvet or something. It's more like um, cotton fabric. So for cotton fabric, better use another type, Fresnel. It gives a real soft and smooth uh, gradient from the color. So black to white, it's very, very smooth and looks great. Um, actually, it looks fine. Mm, we definitely don't need reflection because uh, fall off it works like for reflection it's like instead of reflection you can use fall off but only for fabrics and only in different uh, in a special angle of um, the looks in another way so it works to 90 degrees so what you will see in 90 degrees will be the dark part another one will be uh, gradiented to the white color so I'll just uh, make a zero to reflection. Okay. And make it a little lighter uh, on the curves. I'll add point, Bezier smooth, and move it a little in here. Okay. Um, we need some color to this armchair. I'll probably copy just diffuse color and we'll start with it uh, go to follow off and just paste in here uh, what do we need maybe a little darker maybe a little more color it's fine or not fine i think it's fine maybe a little more darker okay I'll copy it, paste in here, and make this one lighter, less saturation, I think. Isn't it too, too yellow? Oh, it's fine. No, I think it's fine, right? Let me... Maybe it's too much color. No, no, it's not enough for now. I need some color, but not that much. Okay. Um, colors are fine. Let's work with displacement. So what I will use for displacement. So I found this um, shader in Megascans with Quixel. You can use it if you want to or find something else. But this mm, displacement map looks kind of cool. So I'll go into use these. Let me find it. Yeah. It looks weird. You can see anything in here, but on the model, it will work fine. So I'll add um, current displacement modifier and drag this map into no map sl slot instance. And let me see. Ooh. I have something in here. Let me zoom in. Uh, so first, 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 probably a little smaller, I think. Uh, let me check tiling to yeah. And also I want to rotate it. I don't like these lines. So 90. Okay. Maybe that's too much of displacement. A little less. Do we need? Or maybe not? Okay, let me... Oh, I want it to less. Let me put some zero. 
No, zero is not enough. Minus two. Maybe more. Okay, that's too much. Okay, not we don't need that much of displacement. Yeah, I like uh, how it looks in this area. In this one is fine, but we also will add some uh, normal map. Let me add it. Uh, it's the same from the same sh uh, shader from Quixel. So I'll just put here and we need normal map, Corona normal, plug into, add gamma to input, don't forget, and to the bump. But we change the tiling, so we need to, to or you can do the same as like we did in carpet, just select the map, copy it and open from the folder. So you don't need to change all these parameters again, but I will. Okay, that's too much of map. Um, so go to current normal and just make it lower. Or maybe even more. Just a little bit so it will be a little different from displacement and normal map. Maybe a little higher. Uh, also, I want to add some texture so you can see exactly of the um, that is fabric, fabric of the armchair. So I found um, this texture in textures com. If you sign it into the site, you can download for free from the not big size, but it will be enough for uh, this model. So it's just texture of the fabric. You can find something similar if you want to. Okay, let me add in here. Where is it? I don't see it. Okay, yeah, this one. But it's not rectangular, so if you, we need to change the size, because we have to, it's too big, uh, we, it won't be the same numbers. So I'll just change this. Three, yeah, it looks smaller, maybe two in here, yeah, and you can see a little small details of the fabric, it looks like super good when you add some small details, especially when you final render your final render, it will, will look gorgeous, it will show the real models like, so just believe me, <laughs> it will good. It will be good. Uh, okay, let's go to the pillow. Pillow, pillow, pillow. Yeah, it will be fun. I hope so. <laughs> so I'll just make a copy of the material, select the pillow, edit, and exclude it. Okay, let me see what do I have. So I do have color, right? I do have color. I'll try to use fall off in here. But we don't need the big difference of the color. We just need to add some softness. Um, perpendicular um, uh, won't work. Fresnel. Fresnel might be work. No, it's not too good. Well, maybe. Um, what we have more? Shadow doesn't work. Um, distance doesn't work. Towards the way. Actually, towards the way looks better than Fresnel. Um, well, I'll keep this, but make it much more lighter. So I'll add point, uh, Bezier smooth. So we'll have, huh, maybe. Let me change the color, we'll see. Actually, I like this one is much more because uh, you can see only black stuff on the outside of the model. So I'll keep it. 
let me see yeah let's try with this one uh, so we need to add some texture to diffuse I think it will be some we need to uh, create something like yarn material uh, so what I'm going to use I found the rope the real rope so i'm going to use this texture for this pillow so let's add it i'll change a little color make it more uh more red add more red and let's try it uh so i'll add immediately color correction for the main color if we need to change it and plug into map one map two it will be the same color we'll change it a little later for now we need just color actually it's fine i think um we're going to add uh change the size of this map because because it's not correct yeah it's too big let's change styling uh so two oh it's not we have to put some bigger numbers okay this one we have to make lower yeah and this one we can make higher okay less five yeah i think it looks fine let me check yeah you can see the little lines in here and um, for now it's uh, look much 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 better right okay let's add some some settings so what we're gonna add we're going to add some translucency so it will be much more softer because it's just laying 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 we need some translucency in here for sure so I'll select material and increase it mm, not so sure for how much <laughs> too much little small yeah too much little small and we're going to add some map for translucency okay let's add some we don't have anything from these maps but um i found the texture uh, from this model actual model they had this one if you download this uh pillow from the side you will find this map and i'm going to use it for translucency fractal but we probably have to change the size as well yeah it's too big hmm. probably enough but we have to do it much more mm, contrasted so we'll see the real thinny advanced oh no we don't need advanced and color correction well okay it's fine i'll just add um actually i don't need to add anything we have bitmap so i'll just plug in um delete color correction and select bitmap it has its own curse so I'll just change it in here now we can see something again this area it works better okay hmm. 
Okay. Um. <laughs> Let me decrease influence of this map a little bit. Sixty. And we probably need um opacity as well. So I have this map. Um I'm not sure it that model has it if not uh, just create in photoshop just change the curve so black and white will be much more contrasted like exactly black and exactly white and plug into opacity color but we need this tiling oh well, even like this <laughs> it looks fine almost well we can change the tiling so it won't be the same as fractal Oh, yeah, uh, and also we don't need that much pasty, so I'll just decrease it a lot. We need a little, just a little. Yeah, probably I'll change the size a little of this map, so it will be different, not the same as uh, translucency. And a little lower. Duty. Twenty. Good. Okay. I think this is good. Now we need to work with this car because it's too dark. I'll just make uh, the difference in f um, in fall off. I'll plug into map one and map two color correction and we'll change it. So the whitest in top. So this one is lighter. This one is darker. Let's do this advanced gamma. Um, we need a little more color. So we have um, our bitmap uh, color correction. We can change the parameters uh, that will be for each of the colors in this color correction. So I'll just select it and increase saturation a little. Maybe more red. Oh, it's too much. Minus one. And we can make it a little lighter more and I think is good let me see a little closer maybe a little contrasted map of translucency I want to um in here let me come closer closer I want to see the details. No, actually, it looks really, really good. If you come closer from the our distance, you can see that much details. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll add um, glass material to this little lamp. So I'll create new material. Um, current MTL. Glass. Assign. Exclude and create the basic glass material black diffuse reflection one, refraction one. Mm -hmm. A little darker reflection color, and we need to add one more thing the more bumpy, mm, noisy details. So I'll select noise map and plug into bump. But I need to see the size. Um, I'll change the refraction, so I'll see how uh, this map uh, on the lamp, it's too big. So we'll just change this size, 10, 10 might be good. Maybe a little more, 
yeah, 10 looks fine. Let me uh, check how it looks on glass. It's too bumpy, okay. Uh, maybe a little bigger, uh, 20. Yeah, 20 is nice. Okay, let's move on. Okay, what else? What left? Oh, this beautiful ways. Okay, I think we should. We have to do it. So, um, let's do this. I'll make a copy of the material. Select it. Assign. Assign. Exclude. And we'll mix some maps for sure. Uh, oi. How many maps may we have here? So we're going to mix these two maps, this uh, beautiful clay ground and this beautiful wall. It looks weird, but perfect for our ways. Let's do this. So I'm going to add this first um, light map, wall map, where is it? Yeah this one bumpy wall i'll just set it into diffuse color and change the color to what we need we need to desaturate it uh, maybe a little lighter maybe darker we'll see okay desaturate it yeah not that much maybe a little more mm, yellow yeah a little more yellow i think okay and let's um, add some, oh, why it looks without turbo smooth? Huh, it's for render, but it doesn't, it doesn't work. Okay, um, I'll unclick it and just add iteration in here. Now it looks fine. <laughs> it's weird, but okay. And let's add another map for dark points this one and also we need um, the mask to add this point so uh, the map of these dots I found in this clay so I will use this diffuse map um, displacement uh, normal and also ambient occlusion but just for um, for mask so let's go diffuse color I'll just add all these maps to material editor Diac mask Dif displacement normal okay mask we need here and add composite map plug into level one add another layer and plug into diffuse color now we can add second map to layer two and also well we can change the color immediately we don't need that interesting color i'll just make it a little lighter i think a little lighter a little reddish maybe more Oi, too much okay let's try um and mask just layer to mask oh we need to change the places of this map so uh we need these uh little dots um dark and another one is light so i'll just well we can invert this map but if you will invert it in max it can work a little not that correct as real original map so i'll just change the places of the um diffuse maps so this one will be layer two and this one will be layer one yeah much better now i can make this a little darker okay and let's work with um displacement and bump i'll just unplug a diffuse color for now so we can see the real result of these maps so diffuse map we'll work with it first um, current displacement mode 
material editor and no map instance show me i don't even want to change anything well we can change a little min level i don't know minus five but it, oh wait minus five i want to oh maybe even more minus ten do we want more we can do more minus 20 oh actually it looks good minus 20 well we can mm, take the same minus 23 yep i think we can keep it maybe even more maybe minus 25 minus not minus just 25 in here in max level so it will be different some will be deeper some will be not deeper <laughs> okay um let's add some normal where is our corona normal plug into no just in here add gamma to input or you will see the errors window so let's add it into bump wait that's too much let's decrease it a little bit we don't need that much i think all we need do we or not probably a little less okay fine let's connect diffuse color and we have a beautiful vase in here how do you like it you can say that you like it if you don't <laughs> you have to i i don't care you have to okay let me see what left um <laughs> oh we need to add the color for the baseboard the same color of the walls because it's dark now so i'll just select it select the material of the walls and assign and add into exclude okay let's add some colors to the lamp so it won't be that whitish i'll just create a new material um i will do this uh, legs first because it's a little warmer so it's group i'll open it and we need to select all these legs oh okay one click i selected perfect let me add some color oh did we exclude it no no we did uh, dark reddish more color a little lighter okay we can add some uh wood map i have some in here yeah this one so it won't be just color boring color right okay um color correction now i have to do the same just to eat less saturation advance gamma up less saturation is it Ooh, a little more yellow and it will be perfect and actually we need to add some some uh, fall off so we will have these sides more darker because it now it looks like too plain i don't really like it so i'm going to add fall off in here with use color yeah this one will be perfect just plug into map one uh, make a copy and plug into map two so the black one the top one i'll make darker and we'll got our perfect shadows okay this one i'll make lighter wait i make you darker what's ah what was that 
I don't want more errors in here. Come on, Max. Stop it. Okay, that's too much. He didn't like me today, I understood. Probably I upset him about something, I don't know. Ah, okay, maybe this one lighter. Give me the color. Come on. Okay, 1.3. Good. Yeah, we need lighter. This one, four. Five. <laughs> save. <laughs> I have five to save. It have to be fine, right? I hope so. So, you know how to add reflection, right? So it will be on you to add a reflection to this wood and I'll go to the next one. So I won't keep you here for too long. You can do the same as, as floor, so it will be easy. Uh, okay, we need um, metallic stuff in here and color in here. We have somewhere metallic, so I'll just make a copy of it. Ooh, another group. No, it's not a group. Okay, I'll just go to element and select this detail and assign material to it and also exclude it. Yeah, we have, but we probably don't need that. Oh, actually it's dark. So I'll probably even make reflection color darker and less glossiness. Less and less. Okay, good. And the color of the top on top of the lamp. Make a copy of base color. And ooh, we need to select it by element as well. Oh, okay, it's fine. Assign and exclude. Let me see. Okay, let's add some color. We need it darker. Darker, more color, um, a little here. Let me see. Ooh, less, less color. Let me see in general, so it will fit to our object in general. Come on. Yeah, it's less color, a little darker, and a little to where? To here? I think, yeah, this is it, maybe a bit more. Good, good, great, perfect, right? Okay, let's move on. The last thingy, our picture, it will be super easy, like the perfect ending. <laughs> okay. Let's create it. I'll make a copy. I'll select the map. This beautiful picture will add. Come on, to diffuse color. Select material. Select this beautiful art. Assign my, whoops. <laughs> I didn't select it, damn it. Okay, assign material to the picture and um, Excluded. Okay. Yeah, good one. We need a little darker, I think. And yeah, I think a little darker. Come on. Let's do this color correction. What else? Advanced? Contrasted. Good. Oh, a little yellow we should add. Three, enough, let me see, a little lighter, a little bit. Perfecto. Mm. Yeah, 
I think we are good. Uh, one more thing, we should um, add these books to exclude. So I'll just sell them and render stop, exclude, and here we go. So guys, if you like this video, please put some likes into it. And if you didn't subscribe to this channel, do this now. And also share these links to your friends, to your social media, so everyone can see it. It will be super great uh, if you would do that. So you can see right into the comments. How do you like this masterclass? If you like it and any other comments and also prepare your questions. I will answer it now. Just we'll start the um, render so we can see the final result. We can see an interactive, but I want to uh, render, render a bigger picture. Yeah, actually it's good. I think it will be rendered super fast. So I'll just click on render and maybe I'll add some denoise in here. Click. But I will show you one stuff. If someone still didn't know, um, besides free masterclass, we have a real big course for beginners and not only for beginners, but the people who want to learn real fast, real good, real cool, interesting and fast uh, 3ds Max. You always dream about it to know all these buttons, what to put, what to add, how to create it and all these settings and all these materials, lighting, everything. So it will be everything in this course from very beginning to the very, very final render. We're going to create this render this interior in the course it will start very very soon already in second on the second may so if you always wanted to learn 3ds max or you're not sure how to work it or you don't have the specific system how to work it or you're confused about a lot of stuff how to create it it will be perfect to do it in the course because we have very strong educational system that will help you to understand the real small details which is a very very important um, in the work of 3d max and after it you will be able to create your own projects uh, your own design your own visualization uh, because every small details you will be understand how to create it every single small we'll have modeling not just walls we'll do some furniture we'll do some uh fabric stuff we'll do a lot of things we'll do all the kitchen everything a lot a lot of the, a lot of modeling so you will get the basics not real basics just a little more advanced uh, modeling also will work with interesting lighting and of course beautiful materials you will make so if you'll finish this course you will have a great works in your portfolio that you can show to your clients to your uh to your future uh, boss <laughs> okay uh because uh, in only four weeks, you will learn a lot of stuff, a lot of huge pack of information you will get from me to your own head that you can apply to your work. Uh, so we have four weeks um, of this educational program. It's super, very, very, very super extraordinary intensive program. Um, we will have... Um, online webinars like classes uh, for four for weeks there's four classes per week so four uh, to four weeks we will work really really strong and i'll give you feedback for every your work for every every student will get 
feedback from me i'll also show you how you should change this one stuff this one stuff so i will show you all details all mistakes you made if you made if not it's great you just did well so I'll show you everything, I will comment all your works, I will show you a lot of interesting stuff and there will be a lot of fun to study with me. Just trust me, <laughs> if someone from my previous student are here, just you can say some words and and then then. So we're going to do this interior, we'll work a lot of stuff, we'll learn a lot of things, uh, materials, lighting modeling you'll do some other frames not just only one if you want to of course and also that's our team that's me that's other guys uh we have a real good support in the chat that will uh, reply to all your questions in almost any time so you have question just ask and we'll reply it immediately to make your work much more faster and you will get your result immediately. Okay, so work we going to do. The um, Antonina send you a link. You can read all this stuff. And guys, uh, the places for this course is almost left. There are probably nine or maybe even less left. I think probably six or five only. So if you are going to apply to this course, we have special deal special price only for guys who was in this master class if you apply to this course today um, before the midnight uh, we give you a special price and you can apply for good price only for this master class guys who will apply today so you can read reviews of our students we have a lot of them it's all work of our students created by them only and you can apply to any of them mm, plan that you like it and if you will succeed with your work you will get our diploma our diploma is good stuff a lot of people know us know us already if you finish it our work you a great guy or not guy or maybe girl <laughs> okay so only five or six places left maybe a little more maybe a little less but if you always wanted to learn 3ds max really don't hesitate just enroll the course and there will be a lot of fun okay hope you will see me there Okay, our picture is almost finished it. And let me see your questions. Where I can find the cost of the course? Um, just click on the link uh, that Antonina sent in here and you will see all the page and you can read and the prices, everything. Muchas gracias. Mm, prego? No, it's Italian. I forget how in Spanish. How many samples do you use for rendering? I'm not watching, I'm not looking at the samples, I'm looking at the noise level. When the noise level is lower than 3 or 2%, it's enough. Uh, and the uh, passes can be different. I don't care about the passes, I'm just looking at the noise level. 2 or 3% is enough. And if you apply the noise, just stop, it will denoise and no any noises you will see so just look at the stats and noise level any exterior workshop yeah it will be in the nearest future so just wait do you always use this process in your project uh, you add texture to every object of your already or you already have a labor of finished object no i'm always uh, started material from zero like always i'm not using ready-made materials because um it can be uh, it can take much more time to change it then you will create it from the zero so from zero so i'm trying to use it 
I'm, I'm creating new materials. I have some, some textures, some, some textures, that's it. So I'm using them, not materials. Perfect session, yay. Hello guys, this is the best person in 3D Max visualization, please like the video. Yeah, guy, please like the video. 90 is watching now, so you can add more likes. Will be super great. I'm late, but uh, what I say, it's very nice job and very interesting masterclass. Thank you. That looks amazing. Thank you. Is there any advantage of this software other than other rendering software such as Lumion, Twin Motion, etc.? Need your point of the view to make the choice. Um, well, 3ds Max is perfect for interior and exterior works. Um, all kind of 3D packages are kind of similar, but um, some of them had some. Um, adventures, uh, some good pluses to work on and some doesn't. Uh, but 3ds Max is one of the oldest and it has a very huge stuff to create almost anything you want to. So I think it's perfect package for interior, exterior and a lot of much more stuff. Also, if you don't like, for example, Corona render for some reason, I don't know, there are a lot of different uh, render system like V-Ray and uh, F-Storm. F-Storm works, by the way, on CPU. So if you want to create some animation, just uh, use uh, F-Storm render and your animation will render it super fast if you have a good uh, CPU. Uh, in your computer for sure. So I think uh, 3D Max is very strong software to learn and choice is yours. <laughs> what can I say? Very informative, thank you. Guys, you are getting a free education from a good instructor. It's a treasure. Thank you. Nice apartment. Okay, let me go to the down. Do you even teach Ray or just Corona? I'm teaching Corona, uh, but we have another course for uh, for guys who already know some 3ds Max. There are much more render system. You can check it later. Computer specification for this kind of rendering. Um, what do I have? I don't really actually know what I have the computer in here. <laughs> so Ryzen 5950 and 65 RAM. That's all I have. Um, maybe you don't need that strong because um, I need a lot of resources for do this webinar for do the um, uh, streaming and everything so i'm using much more uh, resources of this computer but for um, normal not too big scenes you can um, buy not that strong computer i think but this one is very very good Yeah, GPU. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, F-Storm works on GPU. I'm sorry. I was confused a little bit. Yeah, sorry. GPU. Uh, Corona and Ray use CPU and F-Storm using GPU. Thank you for correction. How long do you work with 3ds Max? Well, long. Uh, probably more than 15 years, I think. Yeah, something like that. 15. 40, 15, 16, something like that. Uh, when the next masterclass? Uh, you can subscribe to our channel and you will find a reminder when will be the next masterclass, but probably in the next week. Also in, oh no, we don't have it in here. You can uh, subscribe to our channel and also you can find us in Instagram. So you will see the all events we will have. So 
all updates. Yeah, GPU. Okay, I think it's all question we have. That result of two days master class, a little denoising I will add and we can see the whole picture, but it looks really, 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 really good. I like this ways. It looks amazing. You can add some wood in this area. Carpet is uh, great. Wood good. Beautiful armchair. Well, I think the result is awesome. So you know what to do. Just put some likes in this video and we'll see you in the next week. Do you don't love that furniture you do sometimes modeling uh, model furniture? I did uh, sometimes, but not this time. Only some of little stuff like tables, vases and um, curtains, I think. Um, but yeah, I do some modeling for some masterclass, for some projects, for everything when it needed. But if you able to download the model that you need, you just better download it for much faster work, I think. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.